Hey guys, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode on the Time Shot server. And uh, last time, I think I told you guys that I want to look for another room and um, I think we even started digging out this room here. And the other day, I had another little live stream where I dug out the rest of it. So the thought behind this is, at first I tried to use some TNT. Um, because I wanted to get some sort of a natural cave going here, which looked kind of natural and with kind of, so it, I don't know, the, the image in my head is kind of having a spiritual place that um, that gives us energy for our enchantment table to, yeah, basically enchant our items. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of the story behind that. Um, I guess a little bit like Thorncraft? Well, anyways, uh, I wanted to have it nature-like with plants and waterfalls in here. And very, very nice looking. So I dug this out during the live stream. It was only a little over an hour, I think. Um, so only a small one. But yeah, if you don't want to miss any future live streams, make sure to follow me on, on Twitch and Twitter. The links are in the description, as always. Uh, I just like to remind you guys, in case you want to see um, what kind of work I do here on cam off camera, I sometimes just stream it and talk to you guys while doing it. But yeah, today is time for some redstone. Oh yeah, we are gonna try and implement at least a basic mechanism of our enchantment station here. Um, there are still one or two things that I have to figure out later on, which I'm not too sure about yet, but I think we can get the main structure going today. And uh, we'll see about the rest. We'll see about the rest. Whoa! Hello, sir. What are you doing? Is it raining outside? Do we wanna... Oh, I'm so scared. I don't have any armor. At the same time, I kind of want to have some... <laughs> that reminds me... Oh man, I have I have fire aspect, don't I? Yeah, that's not the best tool to an ender, man. I gotta say. Yeah, shut up, man. <laughs> yeah, fire aspect. Usually if they take damage from someone else than you, they just teleport around and totally forget about you. So, yep. Yeah. We'll never see that guy again, hopefully. Um, I hope, I thought, yeah, I have a few more bookcases or bookshelves in here. I have silk touch, right? I have silk touch indeed. So I'm gonna pick up um, the rest of the bookshelves here. We won't enchant anything before the new enchanting station is done anyways. Um, seven, eight, nine. Oh man, it's so slow. Silk touch pickaxe on books. We need 16 for what I have in mind. So let's grab all of them. And then we're gonna try something that I rarely do. I'm not gonna say that I haven't tried it before. I probably have at one point or another. But um, not in a long time. I'm gonna try to do redstone and talk about a few little things at the same time. <laughs> so that should be interesting. So let's grab stuff. Cause stuff is always good. Let's, okay, let's keep those, keep those. Let's bring those in. Um, all right, I don't need a flint and steel right now. I have no idea why I have it on me. Oh, I just, what did I put in there? I don't even know. All right, so this is all the stuff we need, I hope. I hope we don't need more. Uh, I should have some more, so we should be fine anyways. But yeah, um, what I want to do is Instead of having the bookshelves pop just pop off out, out of the ground from all sides, which gives you uh, enough bookshelves to have a 30 level enchantment, I want to have them come out of the ground only in certain positions. So what I'm gonna build is a, a double block extender um, of sorts that are also used, for example, in the classical 3x3 piston doors. In the center there's usually a double block extender. Um, I want the dirt. I need the dirt. Alright, so what we need actually... Okay, this is one place where there's one gonna be one. Um, is it... Oh man, now I'm confused. Okay, this is the... This is where the bookshelf goes. So I actually don't need this block. Two pistons like that. And a bookshelf on top of that. And then we are gonna have this. Piston here. Oh no, wrong direction. Come on, I can do this. This piston, like, come on, come on. No! Ah. 
Every single place I don't need the piston to be, I manage to place on. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, get rid of those again. And we are gonna have the second bookshelf in here, hidden by the slab. Um, oh yeah, we built, by the way, this, this pattern. Obviously, I think we built it also um, during the live stream. But yeah, this is gonna be the basic shape. Two bookshelves and a piston behind that. And then I think I'm gonna use stone brick for the wiring. We are gonna use a lot of repeaters actually. Like here, here. Then we need one here. And even more like so. Then we get rid of these blocks again. That should work, right? Yeah, I think so. One repeater, two repeaters and one up here on four ticks and some redstone dust back here. So this is the basic shape. Oh, I think there's also redstone dust up here actually. Yeah. So we are gonna repeat this. Um, it gives us two bookshelves per uh, contraption of this sort. So we are gonna need um, eight of them to get 16 bookshelves. You only need 15 to get a level 30 enchantment, but we want to have some symmetry. That's why we are gonna use. That's why we're gonna use eight of them, and the interesting part is they're not gonna be aligned, which makes it interesting. So they're gonna be one block off. So we're gonna have the next one like so. And let me try to place this. No, that's not how it works. Come on. Um, if I, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> Come on, it's so hard to place. There we go! Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna repeat this pattern here, and while doing that, uh, I, I said I wanna talk about a few things. So first on my list, only small things, so don't worry about it too much. First things on my list is E3, which happened last week already, so it's kind of not the most up-to-date topic anymore, but I still wanted to mention it real quick, because people are uh, kinda crazy about um, E3 and all the games that I announced there. And since I am not too much of a console player, or I'm not at all a console player, I have none of the new new generation consoles uh, at all. I only play PC. I used to play a lot of Nintendo, but not anymore, not since the Wii, actually. I guess um, my parents still have a Wii at home, but, oh, I need that to be on four. But yeah, I rarely played on it when it came out and when my parents got it. So I, ne I never really got into Nintendo anymore after after the GameCube. And uh, the only PlayStation I had was the PlayStation 2. And yeah, I never had an Xbox. So I'm not too much into the console gaming, which makes E3 a little less of a deal for me, of a big deal. So I'm not too interested in most of the stuff. And also, I've never been really uh, a player of all these uh, AAA huge company titles that usually get presented on E3. I I don't know, I stuck to, I guess I played a few games, but yeah, in the past couple of years, I pretty much played nothing but Minecraft. And I've never been huge into the AAA titles, which is why I don't even know most of the franchises that, are, that people are so exciting about. It's sometimes really, really crazy how people, how, how people get excited about a certain game or a, a sequel, I guess. But yeah, the, the, the graphics are definitely something really, really gorgeous, and I really enjoy the look of it. And uh, I think something, I think the the coolest game that was announced, in my opinion, on E3 was the Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, because I personally played the heck out of the Super Smash Bros. games. The first one on the N64, I played... Uh, the heck out of uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee on the on the GameCube, and I played a good amount of of Brawl on the Wii, only with friends though. But yeah, it was a lot of fun too. And I really like Super Smash Bros. as a game; it was a lot of fun. So uh, the announcement for Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U almost makes me wanna wanna get a Wii U. Well, I guess the Wii U would be the console that I would get. If I would have get a console, it would probably be Wii U. I won't get it because it's just too expensive and it's not worth the money, to be honest. Let's be let's be honest here. The PC is still doing the best job for the for the price you pay for it. 
So, why starting with the console? And yeah, I know there are a few games that never will come out on the PC, but then again, the, the best ones probably will sooner or later. But yeah, the one game that really caught my eye though, out of the, I guess, AAA titles, um, was Dragon Age Inquisition. This game looked so gorgeous to me. Um, yeah, I almost fell in love with it. <laughs> I like the look of this game really, really much. I am, I don't know if you know, but I am a huge fan of dragons. <laughs> I always was. I really love dragons and reptiles in general. Um, as I as I said in my dinosaur mine a couple of times, I really was a dinosaur kid when I was really young. And uh, hence, I also like dragons really much. And yes, yeah, so the Dragon Age Inquisition game looked really awesome. It looked kind of an open world. The graphics looked gorgeous. And if I would have... It, it will come out for PC, so I will look into it if getting it. But it probably will be really, really expensive too. These games usually are. But I'll, I'll have to wait and see. I don't think it will come out uh, this year. It will probably uh, be a thing of next year. And who knows what will happen until next year. It's a long time. A lot of stuff can happen. But yeah, that's basically uh, my experience for an E3. Yeah, of E3. I... I watched a bunch of the live streams just, I don't know, just because I liked to watch them. <laughs> Although they really they didn't really affect me, but uh, I don't know. Everyone was watching them and tweeting about them, so I watched a few too. And they're kind of interesting. I wanted to know what is possible nowadays with the new consoles and the new hardware that we get. What, can, what are the new graphics? What is the new generation of games? That's always nice to see, even if I don't play them. But yeah, that's how I experienced E3. Not too much, but uh, some, some interesting stuff was there. And uh, just a quick add-on, you guys probably know, I never played any FPS games or yeah, any, any shooters in general. The only shooter I basically played was GTA, GTA 3 and GTA San Andreas. But yeah, I never got into shooters, so... And most of these new games are shooters. There's no way around shooters when it comes to the new generation gaming and I'm totally not interested in those at all, so... That's another reason why I didn't really care much for for the E3 releases. All right, I think that's it's time to move on. Um, let's talk real quick about the changes that Mojang, or not the changes, the, the I guess the changes that Mojang made to the EULA enforcements. I should say. So they didn't change anything about the EULA, and I'm not even sure what EULA stands for. Is it had something to do with the with the policies of what is allowed, how how you can earn money with the game, and how you how you can't earn money with the game? That's what the EU LA is about, is from what I gather. And um, apparently, they are gonna enforce some some certain rules of the ULA that could get some Minecraft minigame servers, especially, into trouble because. Um, you might know that Minecraft servers usually earn a lot of their revenue by selling um, VIP ranks and certain perks um, for playing on their server that help you out, like coin boosters and coins, just plain coins and all this stuff. And I think Mojang is uh, kind of against that. They never really voiced their opinion, which makes it a little bit complicated, but... Um, they get a lot of complaints all the time, basically, is from what I've gathered from parents uh, that are out of their mind and upset because their kids spend hundreds of dollars on supposedly their game. But since the parents have no idea uh, or never played the game and have no really idea how the servers and how the game works, they blame the game uh, creator, which is only natural, I suppose. But actually, uh, Mojang is not seeing a cent of the money their kids spend on, on these servers. It also goes to the servers, and this is, I think, what initially raised uh, the attention to the yeah two servers not really paying attention to the EULA. And uh, I think Notch wrote a, a blog post about it. Um, I have more stone on me, which is good. Um, he mentioned that there was one specific user that basically just just asked one of the Mojang or asked the Mojang support. Uh, is is this and that against the ULA? 
And they just answered, uh, actually, yes, it is. They never really enforced it, but basically it is against the ULA. And this guy apparently made this answer public and yeah, made a big deal out of it. And hence kind of forced Mojang to, to react to it and to finally start and give it some more thoughts, what is actually allowed and what should be um, really forbidden. And it looks like they are going really, really against uh, any pay to win strategy. So you're not allowed to sell any gameplay, uh, any general gameplay uh, to users. You are, yeah, and they have to be make any perks that you could buy for now, till now, available to obtain without spending any money. So just by in-game currency and stuff like that. But yeah, some have some interesting changes. A lot of people are very upset about it and they think that's going to be the downfall of um, of all servers, pretty much. Um, I don't think it's a huge deal, maybe, maybe because I'm not really play. Oh, hello guy. You wanted to ambush me, huh? <laughs> Get out of here. Maybe because I'm not really a huge player of minigame servers. I enjoy them every now and then, but I'm not the guy who plays on there. Uh, like 24-7. I only play on there with the friends, uh, with my friends on the time server here, for example, and if I do, I usually record as well. Um, but other people are spending quite a lot of time on these servers, and they're having a lot of fun with it, and they also think that the success of Minecraft is kind of dependent on these servers. I wouldn't go that far. I, I, I totally, I, I'd say they play definitely a role in it. There's no way to denying that. Servers did a lot of can you find your way up here? Wow, you're a smart one. Don't blow up my redstone stuff, though. Get out. Okay, thank you. Get the fun gunpowder. Maybe we'll need some TNT at one point or another. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the... Quickly back to the redstone mechanism here. This is the basic uh, shape. So now the question is how to activate the, the double piston extenders and uh, I gotta switch screenshots here so I get a good look of it. Um, I'm not too sure how to put that in. First of all I need to connect all the pistons from the inside and that's what I'm... Another one? Where did you come from? Man, your brother told you about me, huh? Come on, hurry up. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, we need to power all these pistons at once, and let me see how I did it. I'm pretty sure I have to get rid of those blocks. And we are going to have to use some torches here. Actually, let me replace those with stone bricks, because that way, um, if I should be digging below or somewhere else, I always see that uh, stone brick are essential blocks where redstone is uh, maybe involved and we're gonna have torches oh no do we where's the exit there's the exit yeah that's right torches like that and this might yeah i hope this will work out and we are gonna have more torches on here hmm i might have to redo these later on to be in the right state but for now it should be fine, so there are torches below those two, and I'm pretty sure there's also... Oh, 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 no, no, no! Sorry, sorry! <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. Oh, let me see, how was it done? I think it was one deeper. So there are torches on the left, on the right to those. And... How did I... How the hell did I activate those? Oh! Oh! Okay, we need to go deep. We need to go deeper. I think we have one more torch on the left and the right right here. Is everything fine right now? Looks okay. Um, and then we are gonna have wire going in here, I'm pretty sure. Just hoping there's no cave below me. Wire going here and... This is gonna be a redstone. Wait a second, I'm already out of redstone torches. Did I miscount? I thought I, I counted them out. All of them. But we have this layer, then we go down further. Then we have this layer. Yeah, that's that's how I did it. 
and uh, this is where the signal comes in and it looks like everything is down right now which is good oh no not not everything what this is weird why is why are those extended is there no there's a torch there should be activated oh well we will worry about it later let me try and figure some more stuff out here what we need is two activating mechanisms one that activate the the, the wiring in the center and one that uh, triggering the wiring on the outsides here and the outsides are kind of problematic because i'm going to the limit of the i'm kind of having the limit of the redstone signal strength which is only 15 wide um actually to be honest i think i want to turn this around and bring this on the other side so we have it over here and because i have much more space back there and they don't have to worry about it too much so let's use this and this over here and now things are about to get interesting <laughs> We need another piston contraption here. So we need some wire up here. We need a torch. Come on. Do I have more wood? One blank. One plank is not enough. Walking back. Um, let's see. We talked about the servers basically. I said that I'm not too afraid of uh, things and the bigger server, I mean I, the only server I really paid for is the VIP rank on Hypixel. And uh, I'm not too worried about Hypixel, to be honest. I think Hypixel is a really big server that should find their way through and will find a way. It has a loyal user base and will probably receive donation if it comes down to keeping the server alive. But we'll, we'll see about that. Um, I'm more worried about the, the small servers because it is, it is really expensive to run servers in general. And uh, especially the small servers that don't really have the, the user base, the, the loyal user base, um, how they will persuade people to um, give their money to them to keep the server running. This is going to be the question that has to be asked in the future. All right, but uh, yeah. We'll, uh, something will be figured out, I guess. I don't think the servers will die completely. They are way too popular for that. But yeah, I'm not concerned. I'm just gonna wait and see and uh, enjoy the show, so to say. Okay, let's get this done over here. And I need redstone in there. And a piston facing out like this. Then a block here. And actually we need another stone here with another torch. Something happened. Not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but but something happened. <laughs> Let's. T uh, it's still not. Oh, it is symmetrical now, which is good. Oh no, it's not quite symmetrical. You see, the, up, uh, over here the um, upper pistons are extended, and over here the, the lower pistons are. But I, I think we'll fix that eventually. I'm not gonna worry about. Too, uh, it will break a couple of times as I um, add new piston stuff in new triggers so we are gonna have to try out how we are gonna do it so we have one and we need to activate it let's do it from the right here we need to go down into this block here and i think i i place it the right way i think on four on four ticks and we are gonna have another repeater going in the side on four ticks and we're gonna have a piston facing up. So this is basically a, a pulse shortener, a common one. And we are gonna have redstone dust here. So this has to be triggered to start a mechanism. So for now, I don't have wood again. I can use a redstone torch to trigger it, but... Why are you... Oh, I have to go down, of course. Yeah, something happens when I hit this. All right, so this is the first trigger mechanism and now we have to worry about the second one and I'm not sure exactly where to put the second one to be honest. I had it in a totally different position in my test world, 
but I don't want to keep it there. Where is it? Ah, over here it is. Um, it is kind of similar to that, so let me see if I can hmm, can make it a little higher up. If I have, I need to have two. Okay, okay. If we have it like so, that is too close. We need to go a little further back. We need to do it like so, apparently. So this is going to be our output, which connects over to the sides, um, which should work hopefully. Let's let's count that out real quick before we do anything more. One, two, three. Hello, zombie. Four, five, six, seven, and a few more. Is that zombie coming for me? Sounds like it. Where is he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So we should be fine with that, with the contraption over here. So I just hope it won't interact with anything below now. Um, oh, it probably will. Won't it? Yep, it probably will. So can we go one higher with the thing? I, I think we can. Let's do this so it don't interact with our other trigger device. I kind of want to have them close together so I don't have to have wiring all over the place. But with this approach here, it should actually... Wait a sec. Oh no! I think it was fine already where it was before. We have to piston, we have to raise the piston by one. Sorry about that. <laughs> Redstone is confusing. You guys know that. Um, now we are gonna have this one here, and I hope it won't affect the piston down there. I really hope it doesn't. We'll we'll see about that. We'll have a piston here with a block there, and we're gonna get rid of some more stone here. A lot more. And then we're gonna build some sort of the same trigger device. So we are gonna have a... That's totally not gonna work, isn't it? <laughs> oh man! I don't like... I don't like that it's not gonna work like that. I can't move further in, otherwise the redstone somehow weirdly interacts with those pistons there and messes everything up. The other possibility is to build two of those to make it work. On the other hand, let's, let's do this once again. We have one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we could make it one one in the back. And if I use slabs, it should still work. This won't get activated by Okay, let's let's experiment around. Let's only do one side for now so we don't have to worry about both sides. I'm wasting a bunch of time here. I hope this episode is not going getting too long. If it's getting too long, I might split it up into two episodes. Um or we might just have a long one for for uh, a little variation. That might not too might not be too bad either. Okay, let's let's do this and let's move everything one block to the back. This way we can have we cannot have a torch here. You know what? I'm just gonna raise the whole thing. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Just gonna raise. Oh no! We can get away with that. No, we can't get. <laughs> oh god, guys! Let me cut away here. You guys have seen enough of me struggling and failing at redstone. Um, I'll bring you guys back once I figured something out. All right, we are back. And uh, I had uh, an idea and I used it basically. I just lowered the bottom one by one block and hence there's no more interaction between those two and everything seems to work fine. Now I also have a lever uh, which activates the whole system now. So basically what happens is the lever is connected to the to the upper one which has a... Uh, let me get out of here. It's a trap! Come on, like so. Man, creative is so much easier. <laughs> And this episode is getting kind of long, but yeah, I guess I guess uh, you can have a longer one since there hasn't been one in a few days. Something else I wanted to talk about, uh, I'm going to address that in a second here. But first of all, let's uh, figure that out. Um, 
This upper one is on a two tick delay and the bottom one is on four ticks delay. And also the bottom one has this pulse shortener that I showed you and the upper one doesn't. So this is the difference. Uh, and they both basically just, um, they give two pulses in a different uh, length to the upper ones and to the bottom ones, kind of an alternating way, which leads to the retraction of the, of the pistons, which is quite amazing actually but uh, you have to figure out how to place them first. So it's kind of screwed up over here already. So I need to actually, can I access that somehow? I need to place the, the top ones first. Can I do this? I can indeed. And then place the bottom ones over here and uh, maybe over here. Okay, okay. That looks not too shabby right now. Um, now let's flick the lever and see if it breaks again. Nothing happened. <laughs> That's not good. Pistons moved, but not, not really anything happened. Okay, let's try it once more. Something is not quite right yet. Let me figure that out. Ooh. No, no, that should be right. Here's a piston missing. I have, I have a spare piston. Why do I have a spare piston? Um, I guess this is... Oh, no, wrong direction. There's a, Oh, man, this episode is getting really long. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, okay, we have this piston now going here. And... Something is not right over here. Oh, this block is coming from somewhere. I don't know where it come, it's coming from. So now I can place, no, same mistake again. Yeah, you need to get it in sync basically is the trick. But once it is in sync, it should work properly if I get got all the timings right on the repeaters, which is four up here everywhere and only two at the bottom or just one each at the bottom. Okay, so this works like so, everything is in place. Um, Let's try this again, I suppose. Hope that it's working. It's not. Okay, so now the upper lane is powered. And the bottom one is... Oh! Oh no. I feel like I'm missing redstone somewhere here. Yeah, that's totally where I screwed over. I don't need these torches here. That's why I, I wasted all my torches that I didn't need though, too. So we need to get rid of those four. And instead we're gonna have dust here. And I think that was a mistake. There might be another one in the system. Um, we'll figure it out. Okay, everything retracted. And everything extracted. Awesome. So this, we have 16 bookshelves around the center now, which are 30 levels and... If I flick the lever again. Ah, oh, no! No! Something is still wrong. Let me figure that out. I have some good news and some bad news, guys. So the good news is I figured out what the problem was. These four blocks here were missing. And these are important because the torches need to power these blocks uh, to power the pistons when they, could, when they get pushed up here. So this was what was missing and it should be working now. And the bad news are... I'm just kidding, there are new bad news. <laughs> so let's try this out here. Oh yeah! Oh man, I could do that all day. Wow, we did it, finally. That took longer than I wanted to. Because every time I have the mistake in there... Oh, this is wrong. Every time I make a mistake in there, I have to get the timing right or the... The, the face basically right of the different pistons because there is a moment where both these pistons are powered and it is really really important that let me show that to you real quick it is really really important that the upper one is powered first because once the upper one is powered the lower one can't push it upwards anymore and hence every time I make a mistake I have to readjust every single piston so everything works again but now we got a fully working enchantment station and yeah, we, this episode is way too long, <laughs> so I'm gonna put it to an end now. Uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about real quick is, yeah, this is an extra long episode and I hope it makes up for the, the amount of episodes currently. It's less episodes than usually because I'm currently pretty busy with uni, I got a lot of exams coming up and presentations and talks. 
that I have to prepare, so I hope you don't mind too much. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this extra long episode. But yeah, I hope to see you all again next time. Until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.